Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Christophe Tozier. I'm a software designer and I guess some sort of amateur travel photographer. Uh, my wife and I love traveling. We've been to New Zealand, Kenya, Iceland, uh, visited all over the US. Uh, and this year we've decided to go travel all around the world for about six to eight months. Um, so we quit our job, we packed our bags, and now we're ready to go. Uh, and before we leave, I wanted to make a quick video to share with you what I'm bringing with me on the trip. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of research, picked all of the best thing I could find, uh, and I figured that could be helpful to some of you. So, we'll look into both my, you know, everyday checked luggage with like everything, that my clothing, etc., as well as my photography equipment that will go in my carry-on backpack. Um, but before we start, where are we going exactly? Um, we're going to start with South America. In, we're starting in February, so it's going to be the summer, um, and then we're going to New Zealand and Australia. Um, before we go to Southeast Asia, where we'll go to Hong Kong, Vietnam, Japan. Um, then we'll do a quick stop by Dubai, visit some friends there. Um, and then we'll go to South Africa, do some safari, explore the towns and stuff. Uh, and then go to Namibia and Rwanda. Um, and then we'll go to Europe. And that part of the trip is not fully planned yet, so I don't have much details. But we know we want to go to Italy, we know we want to go to Norway and Amsterdam. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but that gives you a sense pretty much of the season we're going to be experiencing. It's mostly going to be the summer to fall kind of season everywhere we go. Uh, so we're not bringing a lot of winter clothes, for example, which is, you know, helpful. Um, all right, so it's going to be a pretty long video about I'm expecting 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, bear with me. There's a lot of gear to see. Uh, and of course, I'm putting links to everything in the description. So feel free to check that out as well. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and let's start with my check luggage. All right, so my choice for my check luggage is this epic pack by Osprey. It's called the Sojourn 80 liters. Um, and this bag is absolutely fantastic. I've tried a lot of bags um, and I immediately fell in love with this one the moment I saw it. Um, and that's for a number of reasons. Um, but the first one is definitely the fact that it's both a wheeled luggage and a backpack, which in I'm sure in many situations will be quite handy. Uh, and so, as you can see here, you, you get both the option to use those pretty solid wheels uh, with this really strong handle. You have this container here uh, that hides some actual um, straps um, to use the bag as a backpack. You can attach the straps right here and uh, and then it's an actual a very comfortable backpack. You can you know hide this stuff here. Um, and it's a really sturdy and uh, comfortable backpack with a very nice uh, back support. And uh, this part here at the bottom um, is actually very good on the back and really help you um, carry all the, the load uh, very easily. I don't expect that we'll be using the backpack mode that often, um, but I'm also using this extra space uh, to carry uh, my button-up shirts. Uh, and so I have this uh, container made by Eagle Creek um, and it's really, really uh, useful to pack, you know, clothing that you don't want to, um, you know, wrinkle or roll or that kind of stuff. And so um, it got those two panels that are very sturdy uh, and that can, you know, contain your shirts and, you know, keep them nice and folded. All right, now let's look at what's inside the bag. Um, so the bag has two compartments, uh, one at the very top uh, that is particularly useful for shoes. Um, and so I've got a pair of sandals as well as a pair of um, hiking shoes. Um, I carry those in uh, an Eagle Creek, um, you know, shoe bag. Um, and that is mostly because if after a hike, you know, we got a lot of mud or, you know, the shoes are, you know, dirty and or wet. Uh, I can put those in there inside of this, you know, separate compartment. And I'm sh I should make, sh that should make sure that, you know, the rest of my bag stay clean and um, away from the mud. Uh, now, as for my shoes, uh, I've picked those uh, shoes by Arcturix. Um, they're very, very strong and yet very lightweight shoes perfect for doing a lot of hiking and uh, going on all sorts of terrain. And that's pretty much it for shoes. Now, if we go to the main compartment, the bag opens up all the way. 
And so uh, I got quite a lot of stuff in here. Toilet tree bag, which is quite convenient. Another one by Eagle Creek. Uh, and it's very convenient because you can easily attach it anywhere in the bathroom uh, and then it opens up uh, and has some very nice compartments where I can put different types of um, you know gear and uh, products. Uh, I then have this little bag uh, by Allspray, very convenient to pack uh, all sorts of things. And I got a pair of gloves, um, kind of all weather type of gloves uh, made by North Face. I then have this uh, piece of merino wool, uh, I don't really remember uh, who makes this, uh, but I found it at REI and it's, it's very convenient because it can both be used as a scarf whenever it gets chilly uh, or you can you know, put it around your head like this when it gets really warm uh, or you can even protect your head when it gets really warm um, like this. This uh, is called a cool tie. Um, and what's really cool about this is that uh, all you have to do is put it in water uh, for you know maybe an hour uh, and actually probably less than that uh, and then you can put it around your neck and for six to eight hours it will keep you cool um, which again will be very convenient uh, especially in South America where it's gonna get really hot um, I didn't have those leggings um, I don't expect to use those much but uh, if it gets really cold I can put this as a base layer under some pants then I have this uh, day pack, uh, so it's a waterproof backpack made by Matador um, and what's really cool about it is that it's very very small uh, and yet it's a 24 liters backpack um, which means that I can uh, open it up and I have a full waterproof 24 liter backpack whenever I need it. And then I have this uh, Sea to Summit um, towel uh, and it's a microfiber uh, towel which means that it dries really quickly, it's very small. Uh, the last thing in this bag is a mosquito net that you can put around your hat or you know, cap uh, and it will protect your head from uh, mosquitoes. Uh, another dry uh, bag is fully waterproof um, and what's cool about it is I can put all of my underwear and socks in there. And my favorite brands in terms of underwear and socks, um, for underwear I really liked um, Ex Officio. Uh, they make really nice boxer briefs um, and I also found this brand called White Athletics um, and they make those very nice merino wool plus silver um, you know underwear and socks um, and so they're actually my, also my favorite brand for socks um, and then I got some icebreaker uh, merino wool socks as well uh, this bag has most of my cables and chargers um, so it's a bag made by a company called Umis um, and uh, I've got in there lots of cables uh, I got my charger double charger for my camera my Sony a7R3 something to clean up my uh, lenses I uh, got a USB-C cable got a wireless uh, charger for my iPhone I got this very useful uh, multi-plug by Balkan um, and what's really cool about it is uh, it both has three plugs plus two USB ports and it's very lightweight and so uh, all I have to do when I get into, into a hotel room is plug this into my um, converter here um, and then I can plug any sorts of devices uh, to this one electrical plug. You know, then more cables and uh, more stuff. Alright, so next we have this bag made by a company based in San Francisco called Peak Design. This one is called the Sling 10 liters um, and it's basically a very nice messenger bag. Um, and so the reason I'm bringing this with me is to serve as a backup for my backpack um, when going on a hike, a very long hike or going to a place where I just don't want to carry all of my gear and my giant backpack. In here I have uh, this case made by Tumi um, and in, in this case I have quite a lot of backup uh, stuff. It's cleaning wipes to uh, clean up my photo equipment, some extra propellers for my DJI drone, an iPhone 7 Plus. Um, that's in case my you know, iPhone 10 gets stolen or breaks. Uh, I have an extra phone and an extra SIM card from T-Mobile. Then I have this very nice 
camera strap, uh, again made by Peak Design. It's very strong, um, very sturdy, but also very nice on the shoulder. Then I have uh, this uh, teleconverter by Sony. Uh, it's a 2X converter, uh, and I'm using this on my 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Um, and that basically makes it a 140 to uh, 400 millimeter lens, uh, which is particularly useful for shooting wildlife. Next, I have this weird uh, looking accessory um, made again by Peak Design, uh, and it's basically a rain jacket for your camera. Um, it's a very nice cover uh, that you know protects the lens as well as the body of the camera uh, from you know rain or dust or anything like that um and so uh very very convenient i've used it in many situations uh particularly in, in iceland when shooting waterfalls uh and inside of it i'm hiding a sony 35 millimeter 2.8 lens um and this one is particularly useful when i want to carry the lightest load possible uh as well as um, you know, when I'm going to a place where they don't really allow professional photography equipment or, you know, they're just not going to look at you the same way if you're carrying this giant lens. Um, so carrying this little lens on a Sony A7R 3 is usually a pretty good combo. Then I have a uh, hard drive, uh, in its case made by uh, Low Pro. Um, and inside of it I have a Seagate backup uh, hard drive. Uh, it's a five terabyte hard drive, so quite a lot of space in here. Um, and I'm gonna use this to back up my photos and videos. Another little bag made by Tumi. I have a little a headlamp uh, made by Energizer. Uh, it's very strong, very useful headlamp. And then I have in there an extra 360 camera. Uh, this one is made by company called Gorman um, and it's the Verb 360. That will serve as a backup to my uh, GoPro Fusion that you'll see in a moment. And finally, I have another bag made by Tumi um, and in there I have probably my favorite accessory, uh, again by Peak Design and it's called the Capture Clip. I have a couple of those um, and this is particularly convenient to attach your camera to your belt or to your uh, backpack straps um, and it's a very easy to use system uh, that lets you basically you just clip it to you know your your strap or your belt and then you have uh, extra accessories like this one that can just slide into it and just lock and then you have a giant red button here to unlock um, and so I use this usually to carry I, I use one to carry my camera uh, on the exterior of my bag um, as well as one to carry my lenses and so this is the lens adapter for Sony lenses and so all I have to do is kind of like slide it here um, and then I can easily attach the lens uh, or on this side and even a lens on the other side if I want to uh, and I can also use this to very easily and quickly switch between lenses without putting any on the on the ground or you know in back in my bag etc then i have this very strong suction cup uh, made by joby uh, and it comes with this extra uh, kind of gorilla uh, mini monopod i guess uh, instead of tripod um, and i'm going to use this to attach my gopro um, to you know any sorts of surface a car a kayak anything then i have this uh, accessory by gopro uh, that came with my uh, GoPro Fusion, my 360 camera. Um, and so it can both be used to, you know, just hold my 360 camera like this, or it can extend as a kind of selfie stick, um, or it can be used as a tripod for, for the Fusion. Um, so that's very convenient and something I'm gonna be carrying around a lot. Um, then this bag is basically for laundry. Um, it's contains a bag or accessory called uh, the screw bag, wash bag. Uh, and it's basically a bag in which you put all of your dirty clothing uh, as well as some water and some soap. And then you just squeeze it for a good five minutes um, and then your uh, laundry is done. And then we have some laundry wash uh, sheets. Next, I have this compression sack made by Osprey. Uh, it's an eight liter uh, sack and inside of it I basically have a down jacket and a rain jacket. Down jacket is 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's made by a company in San Francisco called Aether. Um, it's very nice, very soft down jacket that can kind of go for all sorts of weather. And then whenever it gets rainy, I have a Patagonia uh, rain jacket as well as wind uh, proof uh, jacket. Next, I have some uh, packing tubes um, for my clothing. Um, this, uh, these are made by a company called Shake Pack. Uh, and I really like those. I've tried a bunch. These are my favorite. Um, and so inside of this one, I have uh, basically my sweaters uh, as well as I guess my um, swimsuit. Um, and so I got four hoodies slash uh, you know sweaters. Uh, three of them made by Icebreaker, made of merino wool, and one of them uh, made by Lululemon. Then inside of this one, I have my shorts and pants. Uh, I have these shorts by a company called Chrome. Then I have those jeans made by Diesel. And what I like about those is that uh, they're called jog jeans and they're basically made of this fabric that's very stretchy um, and very comfortable. Uh, so they look like jeans, but they feel like wearing, you know, joggers or uh, sweatpants. And finally, I have these pants uh, made by Prana. Um, and they're pretty much everyday travel pants, uh, so pretty good for hiking or um, you know just everyday city stuff. And so the last bag in here um, contains my t-shirts as well as my workout, uh, you know, shorts and t-shirt. Um, and so as, in terms of t-shirts, I have four short sleeve and one long sleeve. That's probably a little much um, according to most videos I watched, but. Um, they're all made of merino wool, uh, all made by a company called Unbound Merino, um, and uh, they're really fantastic. I love those t-shirts. And then finally, I have this hat uh, that I used when I was on safari in Kenya, um, and it's a very nice hat made by uh, REI, and it it falls completely flat in your uh, in your bag, which is very convenient. But it also feels very lightweight and very uh, comfortable when uh, being worn. That's pretty much it for my everyday, you know, checked luggage. Uh, now let's look at my photography equipment. Um, this is a backpack, again, made by Peak Design. Um, it looks very similar to my sling bag that I've shown you earlier, uh, except this is a full backpack. Um, I've been using the 20 liter version of this bag for about two years and I love it. Um, and now I just upgraded to the 30 liter version for this trip. Um, and what I love about it is that I can carry so much gear, so much stuff um, in such a small amount of space. You've got tons of handles on every side. you got those very strong straps. Um, you have this pass through uh, kind of strap here uh, that allows you to put the bag on top of a wheeled luggage um, and then uh, you got those side pockets here that are very very useful uh, in there I have a water bottle um, for hiking and then I have my tripod and as for tripod I'm using a Mi Photo Road Trip Air um, and it's absolutely fantastic because it's very very small very lightweight which is great when traveling but it actually unfolds to a very pretty good size um, and very, very easily. You just like, just have to twist like this to unfold the legs and then twist again and then twist again to close it. And that's it. And it's very strong. All right, now in the top compartment here, I have a pair of sunglasses. Um, and I have my drone uh, and I'm using a DJI Mavic Pro drone. Um, it's by far my favorite drone that I've had. Uh, it's really small and yet uh, can unfold to a pretty good size and it flies super far, capture great, great footage. Um, it's really, really high quality. Fantastic job by DJI here. Um, and then with it, I have a couple batteries for the drone um, and I also have the remote control for the drone. And then finally, uh, here I have a little pocket that hides a Samsung portable SSD drive, the T5. Uh, it's a two terabyte drive. Um, and it's very, very convenient because it's blazing fast. And so I'm gonna be using this to do most of my photo and video editing on the go. Um, and then every now and then I'll copy the content of the SSD onto my hard drive that you saw earlier. Uh, and that should be, you know, 
enough, hopefully, to save all of my content. All right, now let's move on to the inside of the bag. Um, so what I really like about this bag is that those side openings actually behave as compartments themselves. And so you have those very nice, well-organized pockets here that can hold a lot of gear. Uh, so in here, I have a remote for my GoPro camera. Um, I have a little uh, hot shoe mount uh, to attach my GoPro on top of my camera. I have two extra batteries for my Sony A7R 3 which I'm recording right now with. Um, then I have this little bag um, made by Tenba um, and this holds a lot of SD cards. It can hold up to I think nine SD cards and then I have an extra compartment here where I put a lot of micro SD cards. So plenty of SD cards here. And then I have a couple batteries for my GoPro Fusion. Now inside of this main compartment, um, I can put my Sony A7R 3 here in the middle uh, with its uh, 1635 2.8 G Master lens by Sony. Um, and it fits super well in there, very easy to access and to put back in there. And on its side, I have a, an 85 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens, again by Sony. Uh, I love this lens for portrait, it absolutely is fantastic. I also have here a mini pillow made by Cedar Summit, very useful when traveling. And I have here my uh, GoPro Fusion. This is going to be my main 360 camera, comes with this nice little case. Uh, and I think it's a 5.2K, maybe 5.7, I never remember, um, 360 camera. And so what I'm planning to do with it is shoot a lot of 360 content, both photos and videos. And then I may do a full montage of a 360, a long 360 video, all the places we travel to. Then I have my big zoom. Um, it's a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, uh, and it, I carry it inside of this nice lens pouch. Uh, it's really well built. Uh, it's called. It's made by a company called Amerteer. Um, and what I really like about it is that it's very soft, very lightweight, and yet very strong. And the, the top compartment uh, folds up like this, uh, making sure that all of your gear is well protected. Um, and so inside of it, I have my G Master 7200 millimeter lens. Uh, it's an f2.8 all the way. Uh, and so alongside the mini converter that I showed you earlier, uh, it means it can go all the way to 400 millimeter if I need. Now on the other side of the bag, um, I also carry quite a lot of gear inside of the side pocket here. Um, so I have a mini clean, lens cleaning tool, um, you know, to brush up your lenses and stuff like that. Um, I have a couple pens and a Sharpie pen, uh, very useful to fill up, uh, you know, immigration form and that kind of stuff on the plane. Uh, I have a lightning to USB-C cable, um, as well as a... USB-C charger, a very small and lightweight USB-C charger made by Anchor. Um, and what's cool about it is that it can charge my MacBook Pro as well as my iPhone super quickly and it's very small and lightweight, much smaller and much lighter than the Apple version. Uh, and so alongside the cable, I can charge my iPhone uh, super fast, uh, especially when traveling. Um, and then I have a mini insect repellent, uh, which can always be useful. Um, I also have a mini remote for uh, my Sony A7R 3 um, and then finally I have a USB-C uh, multi-plug thing. Um, it has an SD card reader, another micro USB port and then two uh, USB ports. So very useful to uh, extend the amount of ports that are on my uh, MacBook Pro. And now the last thing uh, inside of the main compartment. Uh, are my headphones. Uh, and for that I'm using the Bose QuietComfort 35. Uh, they are wireless, uh, noise cancelling, very very good pair of headphones. Uh, I've been using them for quite a while now and I really really enjoy them. Now finally let's move on to the laptop compartment of, the, of this backpack. Uh, up there I have a pocket that can hold my battery, external battery. I'm using an Anchor uh, fast charging battery. I think it's a 20,000 uh, milliampere battery and uh, it got two fast charging USB ports as well as a fast charging USB-C port, um, which means 
uh, I can charge my camera equipment and my iPhone very rapidly, but I can also recharge this battery really quickly, which is great. Um, with it, I have a couple small um, cables. I have a USB-C to USB cable, as well as a USB to lightning cable, so I can charge my phone. And then I have my iPad Pro. Uh, I've been using the 2.9 inch version since it came out. I uh, really like this. Very, very nice iPad. Uh, and then I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, the most recent ones is the um, Thunderbolt 3 version uh, with USB-C ports and the touch bar. Uh, and on top of it, I have this little sticky thing. Uh, and what's cool about it is that uh, I can put my SSD drive like this um, and then plug the cable. And then when, as I'm using my laptop, the USB-C drive is not going to fold. And so if I'm carrying the computer around uh, the hotel room, for example, uh, I can feel good about my uh, SSD drive not falling. All right, guys, I know this was quite a long video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you've also learned a few tips on how to pack your bag or discover new gear uh, that you'll get for your next trips. Uh, I'll try to put the links to all of the gear I've mentioned in the description of the video, so go check it out. Um, and if you want to follow our adventure, go follow me on Instagram. I'm at Chris Tozier. I'll be posting some photos and maybe some videos there. Um, or you can follow my wife here on YouTube. Uh, she's at Claire's Adventures. Um, I'll try to put a link somewhere up here and uh, in the description. Uh, you should definitely follow her. She does a lot of vlogging. Uh, so she'll be vlogging the different destinations we're going to. Um, and I'll try myself to make more videos uh, if you enjoyed this one. So please leave it a thumbs up. Uh, if you did, uh, subscribe to my channel and in the comments, don't hesitate to ask any question about the gear I've mentioned or give me suggestions. I would love those. Um, all right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy travels. Learn